The Panhandle community is rallying behind the two shark attack victims from Friday's incidents in Walton County. A new ribbon fundraiser is underway to support 15 year old Lulu Gribbons. As News 13's Kimber Collins tells us, this is a group effort that hopes to make Walton County shine purple. A fundraiser announced Tuesday is called I Made It Ribbons for Lulu. Lulu Gribbons is the 15 year old who lost her left hand and a leg after a shark bite incident on June 7th. Purple ribbons are being made by Beachy Blooms 30A and sold for $25 a piece. The ribbons are available for pre order right now, with dozens of folks sending money within the first few hours. This is an incredible community that I'm very proud to be a part of. Allison also, Tara also, all of the people that have reached out so far. It's just amazing and overwhelming. Jane Denton with Beachy Blooms 30A said the idea was sent to her by multiple friends after Lulu's hometown in Alabama started displaying purple ribbons to show support. Purple is Lulu's favorite color. The idea is to, if you don't have a mailbox, you can put them on a pillar outside your house. You can add them to a wreath that hangs on your door. Uh, you can add a, a spike and put them in the ground next to your mailbox. We want all of 30A, all of our communities, um, up and down 98 to shine purple. Ribbon pickup and purchasing in person will start on Tuesday, June 18th at multiple locations like Kava and Cakes in Gulf Place. This money is going directly to the family, so there's no money being taken out. There's no middleman. So these Venmo payments that are going to be made to Beachy Blooms 30A are going to go directly to the family. With a 15 year old daughter herself, Kava and Cakes co-owner Jillian Rain said joining the cause was a no brainer. She comes to work with me just to go to the beach, so it was very close and personal to my heart. She's 15, just like Lulu, so um, it just kind of really struck hard with me as well and my daughter, too. A fundraiser for 45 year old shark bite victim Elizabeth Foley has been set up by her church in Virginia, raising more than $64,000 in two days. In a statement on Monday, Elizabeth's husband Ryan said she is making significant improvement and in good spirits. All surgeries have gone well and the doctors and nurses are absolutely encouraged. We are very grateful for all of the prayers and expressions of love and support. Elizabeth also lost a hand and a leg in the incident. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Denton said they plan to run the ribbon fundraiser until June 30th or longer, depending on the community's support. You can learn more about how to support Lulu and Elizabeth on our website, mypanhandle.com.